Hey actors, listen, the casting process is rapidly changing due to the current climate. So now more than ever, your self-tape game has got to be on point. Now, if your self-tape auditions suck, the odds of you landing a gig on that hit TV show get real slim. By the end of this video, you will learn my five secret personal tips that help me book over 60 film and TV credits. For the best acting advice and more audition tips and tricks, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on so you get notifications when I post new Actors Daily Bread videos every Tuesday. Stay tuned. What's up? I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, and I am the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors. I've helped hundreds of actors from around the world crush their auditions, book more work, and live a life that they love. And now it's your turn. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, tip number one to make sure your self tapes don't suck is to learn how to follow stage directions. She's hemorrhaging. There's a lot of torso trauma here. We need to decompress her chest. Hit her with the fentanyl citrate, 800 micrograms. Please. Don't worry, soldier. We'll make sure. I need to fight. No, no, no. Uh -uh. Come on, soldier. Fight, fight. Stay with me. Stay with me. Come on. I can't tell you, I coach so many actors. Oh my gosh. And that is the one thing I see missing. Either the actor ignores the stage directions altogether or they're doing some kind of crazy physical situations that are not even in frame. Like, just like, what? You have to learn how to read them. They're right there on the script. They're right there. So many actors are just used to searching for their next line. They're not taking into account what is happening in the whole scene. Let me tell you, this is a game changer. My students that take my Book More TV signature course, this has changed everything for them. They're like, oh, wow, I was missing that. So please, if nothing else, follow the stage directions and do not ignore them. All right, tip number two is to dress the part. Now I know what some of you are gonna say, but the casting director told me don't put, don't dress in costume. I, I don't want to overdress. Listen, I don't care if it's a t-shirt, a suit and tie, or a dress. That is a costume. You got to put some kind of clothes on your body. What casting directors are trying to tell you is don't come showing up with no Victorian dress on for this period piece. That's called too much right? But you have to wear something. The problem is you're not dressing in alignment of who the character is because we haven't done that character work. What does this detective wear? What does this mother of two wear? What does this soccer mom or soccer dad wear? Dress in the tone of the character. And if you don't know what that is, study TV to find out. Tip number three is you got to learn the tech. You gotta know what camera to use. You gotta know how to use your phone if you're gonna tape with your phone. You gotta know what kind of backdrop you need for your skin complexion. You gotta know how to edit your videos. Listen, this is the stuff that sets my tapes apart from the actor who does not know what they're doing. And it doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. You have to learn this tech because there is an industry standard. And if you're not meeting it, your tape is not gonna get sent to producers or to the head of a network to get you on that show you really wanna be on. So this tech part, you gotta learn. Comment below right now and let me know where you've been struggling with self-tapes the most. What has kept you the most confused? Comment below so that I can maybe make some future videos to help you out. Tip number four is to create sight lines. You'd be like, say, say what? Say what? Sight lines. <laughs> the issue with a lot of your self-tapes is that you're not looking at nothing. I can tell you looking at the wall and we don't know who you looking at. There's five people in the scene, you looking in the same place or you looking right at the camera. No boo, don't do that. You gotta create very specific sight lines for each of your characters. Tip number five, and this is a major, major tip, especially for television. You gotta pick up the pace. I'll say it without clapping. You gotta pick up the pace. 
Television works at a different level than film. The pace is different. So you gotta know what you're auditioning for. I go deeper into this in other videos. But for today, just know if you talking this slow in your audition, then it's too slow. <laughs> Pick up the pace. Okay, so now you have my tips on self-taping auditions at home. And let me tell you, self-taping is one of my favorite things to do because people don't realize taping is an art form all of its own. It's different than being on set and it's different than going in person. It's why I created my signature course, Book More TV. Man, I have helped so many actors finally like take the mystery out of taping, seeing what the disconnect was and why they know they're good actors, but why wasn't it showing on screen? So if you wanna learn more about my program, Book More TV, <laughs> click the link in the description below and it could really change your whole career. Whew. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Listen, don't forget, if you wanna join a supportive community of actors just like you, come on over to our Facebook group, Hollywood Bound Actors. Now, before you go, spread love. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you share this and tell a friend all about Actors Daily Bread. That's all for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hey you, are you an actor? Not booking. Well, guess what? The problem isn't you. It's not that you're not talented, hardworking, or deserving. It's that you haven't found the missing link that can change your career forever. Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet. It's my new book! You can order it now at whyplaysmall.com.